are going to be over the next like four to six days that you're going to be coming along with us I guess <laughs> and today is the 25th of July we are now in mobile we traveled here yesterday and it's actually been about a week since you last saw me because we have been in a hotel room in Cebu for the last six days I was vomiting Kirsty has a very bad ear infection which just trying to get help in Cebu was quite challenging, wasn't it, KP? It was not fun. No. <laughs> um, it was just a bit difficult and we didn't really, yeah, we found it quite stressful being in such a big city. Well, I did anyway. I can speak for myself. I feel overwhelmed when I'm in the city. Very, very different protocols and it was just, we didn't know what we were doing, did we? No. So it and it was out. really hard getting around in um, taxis or tricycles there. And people did say to us to download an app called Grab out here and to use that to get around. But again, we just found that quite difficult. Like we'd end up booking one and it would take about 20 minutes for anything to be even near enough coming and then they just keep cancelling. So our experience there was pretty much staying in bed, getting better, KP's still on the mend and just editing really. But we've come to Mobile because we thought change of scenery will get us like feeling more like we can go outdoors and explore a little bit. So today we actually put on makeup and did our hair. That hasn't happened in quite a while. But anyway, I wanted to start this video here when we're feeling a bit more fresh and there's a bit more going on because today we are going to White Beach in Mobile and we're just gonna hang out there, take a few pickies, have lunch and like explore that. And at the moment we're in a hotel called Adams View Hotel and there is a fat pool. I don't know if you can see that. Look at that bad boy. So big. So it's also nice having a pool because it means we can, well, I can do little lengths. KP isn't sure if she can get in the water because she can't get her ear wet. So we'll just have to see. I, I just managed to float quite easily <laughs> for some reason. <laughs> Maybe I'm not swimming right. Anyway, that's what's happening today. So I thought I'd be begin this here. There are also some amazing waterfalls that hopefully we'll be exploring this week that we can take you along with us on as well. So thank you so much for coming and watching this and I hope you enjoy the video. showed you guys the rest of white beach and then we came back and we pretty much just crashed and did editing and on the beach we just took a few snaps so what we had or what we took on the beach what we got sorry word <laughs> what we got in terms of photos i'll leave on the screen now um but yeah sorry it was a quick like quite an abrupt ending to last night but this morning it's 6 30 and we have just quickly woken up because this morning we are doing a very exciting tour with highland adventures they are a tour company out here that do various different tours and um, you can tailor them to you and a group of people but they do the Kawasan Falls and Osmina Peak as like the two main ones that me and Kirsty have wanted to do for such a long time. So today we are doing that with them, which we are so excited about. Um, due to Kirsty's ear, we're not doing the canyoneering with them, which you can do. So if you get the opportunity to do that, then do it. It looks so, so fun. But we're still doing the tour where you do the little hike and then you swim in Kawasan Falls, which should be amazing. So we're both so excited for that. And then a hike of Osmina Peak.
see I'm a sweaty mess but this is the third point of Cow Sand Falls that you can walk up to probably took us about half an hour so what but this is where most people take that like iconic photo with the water going down um as you can see behind me a lot of people take their like shots here and me and KP came up because we wanted to see what it looked like and a lot of this water is used for the is it a power station power power plant, power plant. <laughs> um yeah they use it for the electrical power plant the water so there isn't actually any water flowing down it's quite a lot more shallow than usual um but it's still so so beautiful but that's what's going on up here at the moment but just stunning so i think we're gonna stand here for a minute or two kirsty has um just walked around i'm a bit too scared to do that she's over there i'm a bit too scared to do that because it's slippy with lots of that like, algae and i just don't want to fall and hurt myself so yeah the plan is to just hang out here a little bit and then walk back down and go for a swim so we just went for a swim i forgot the sim card for my gopro sorry about that <laughs> silly me never mind we had a little bob along with our life jackets on and i just can't get over the color of the water here that's so cool and um, also we took a few snaps so I will leave them here for you guys to see or they're just over on my Instagram but we're gonna head up now to level two and get some lunch. So I'm excited because I'm actually kind of hungry now. Are you? You're not. You're always hungry. <laughs> always snacking. So we've just come up to level two for lunch. This is the little level two waterfall behind me. And then you have these cute little umbrellas and you get some food. We got chop suey, chop suey and rice. Eat, eat. <laughs> we have just come back to our hotel bit of a change of plans so it started to rain and the clouds over osmina peak were really really intense is that the right word to describe it with? um but basically we made the decision to try and reschedule it for a sunrise walk or hike just because of stuff we've heard we've heard at sunrise it's meant to be amazing and also we didn't want to get to the top and miss the opportunity to see the view with the weather being the way it is so we have come back to our hotel now it's actually is it like 12 Charlie. it's probably not even 12 but we just feel like we've been out for a whole day we're knackered <laughs> feel like the tour like tours take it out of you and you're like exploring and we did quite a lot of walking so we're just gonna rest at our hotel for a bit have a mango shake and i probably will go for a swim in the pool when it's not midday and i'm not gonna burn but that's the plan really. Hi guys, just future me popping in. This vlog was a bit of a nightmare and was all over the place. Basically the last you saw was me talking about us trying to do Osmina Peak with Highland Adventures. It basically didn't work out that we had enough time on our end and they had enough spaces for us to be able to do the tour with the last day that we had left in mobile. So we decided not to do that with them, even though it looked incredible and is something that we do want to do in the future. We had such an amazing time doing that tour it actually ended up just being me and KP doing the Carousel Falls and we just had a really nice day and morning doing that so thank you so much to them they gifted us that experience and it was just amazing I'm going to leave down below as well Lucy and George my friends that travel the Philippines and do the most incredible vlogs they also did the canyoneering with Highland Adventures so I will leave that video down below because it just shows you like that side of the adventures of them which is so so fun this is also going to be be the end of the video i just wanted to leave it here because from there onwards i didn't really film anything until we got to shargao which is going to be my next video i'm so excited for that because we filmed so much in shargao and it was honestly one of my favorite places and i'm just so glad that i got to end my trip in the philippines there it was the most amazing eight days so if you guys are interested in that then subscribe down below because that is the next one that's coming but yeah i had an amazing time doing kawasan falls and i just wanted to share a very very short little vlog with you all thank you so much for watching this video lots of love guys Mwah.